This is the Business Leadership Series Minute with your host and best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck, Derek Champagne. What possessed you to go to the next step and actually start exploring and, and taking the next step with this? Yeah, so um, to be honest, truly honest, um, I didn't want to start a business. I had no yeah. desire, you know, just like so many people out there. I had this idea and I was like, yeah, that's great, but like, I don't know any inventors. I don't know any, you know, um, business owners. I didn't know any business owners. I didn't know anyone who invented something or sold it on the market. So I was like, well, that's great, but like, what do you do with it, right? right. And so it was one of those, like, I was just like, great, and put it and just kind of forgot about it, you know? Or like, I mentioned it to people and they're like, yep, yep, good idea, but that's as far as it went. Right. Um, and then, you know, a couple of weeks later, a month month or two later, one of my colleagues was like, oh, there's a department at the hospital, because um, it was part of t- like Tufts University, they're, they're associated with the hospital I was working for. So they had a, they, there was a person at the university that was part of um, like an, uh, what is it? Um, intellectual property department and it was like a single guy you know in an office and they were like there's this office you should call them and see what's up so Hmm. did a little bit of digging called up you know guy said here's this application fill it out so you know i was like okay so it was like it kind of came piecemeal like there would be things that would happen or that i would be informed that i could do and i would do it just so that the idea would kind of like leave me alone so to speak i was like yeah yeah that's great so i I applied (laughs) i heard a few months later from this guy and you know we had a conversation and Fortunately for me now, it was in writing at the time I was devastated, but this guy was like, yeah, that that's not a good idea. We're not interested. Like, yeah. it's not even patentable. Good luck. Wow. And, and I was like, uh, okay. And, you know, I was like, that sucks. Um, and I thought the dream was dead, so to speak. I was like, well, you know, I gave it my best shot. That's that's that. Um, and then a few months later, I um, I was no longer working at that hospital. I had worked for, I was working now um, part-time at one hospital, part-time at another had the same problem come up. This is like three or four months later. And I was like, oh, so this idea, so I like, I mentioned the idea that the nurse is there and they're like, yeah, that's a good idea. And I was like, okay, so now what? So that was when, you know, I, I don't even remember how it happened, but I like started taking books out of the library on how to do a provisional patent. Um, you know, just started like looking up on the, and it was one of those, like, you know, somebody would mention, oh, well you should look up you know, a provisional patent, it's, you can, you can file them really cheaply for, you know, in a day. Um, and I would like, oh, okay. But it was like the information would come to me kind of piecemeal, like when I needed it. To hear full episodes of the Business Leadership Series, visit blsnow.net.